Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn how to add a custom attributes into your web component dynamically whenever we are utilizing that web component. So before continuing this video, please I request you to watch the previous video for better understanding. In the previous video, I have explained what is the exact problem with the attributes which are hard coded in our web components. Now in this case, we'll try to resolve it. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here I have created a shadow element and a div element. Inside this div element, I placed the input element as well as button element and whenever I am using this custom element then automatically my input element and button element are rendered in our UI. Let me show you the demo first. So here let me reload and if you see here username and the submit button and this label whatever we are showing and the username whatever we are showing they are coming statically from our custom element itself. So instead what we will do is we'll try to pass these particular elements or whenever we are using this element I can pass that values dynamically and based on that the attributes or the properties will change accordingly. So for example, I'm passing an ID of a input field. So let me make it as input ID is my property name and let me pass this property name as custom underscore input. So this is my ID which I want to showcase for my input ID. And also we have something like a placeholder. So let me use input placeholder is the name which I given for my input placeholder property. So in this I can pass username something like this username and let me hit enter and let me hit enter and let me hit enter and let me show button label. So I have a button label and let me pass this button label as submit or you can use something like login save this and by giving this we cannot showcase on our UI instead what we can do is go to the index dot JS and wherever you have a hard coded values we can replace them so by using this dot there is an, a method called as get attribute so we can get the attribute which is specified on our UI let me go here copy this input ID and paste here so this input ID whatever the value we are entering inside this input ID will be assigned to my ID of that input field and this is a placeholder so I can use this dot get attribute of what is my placeholder property name input placeholder let me copy this and paste here and also we have this label this label is also getting from the attribute I can use get attribute and I can get this value from my button label and copy this button label property paste here and save this so whatever the values we are passing from our custom element HTML content that will be rendered on your custom element properties and this makes our custom element more dynamic with our attributes also. So let me go to the browser and let me reload this. So you have a username and the login and if you inspect this so you can see the ID custom input and the placeholder as username. In the future if you want to change this or if the other person want to use this custom element with different properties, he can just go and copy this particular element. Let me copy this element and let me paste in other div. So let me create one more div and paste here. I assume this particular div as some other project or some other component where I am using this. And let me give hi underscore two and uh, give something like a password and let me give it as register or something any label any label so now we will be getting two input fields and the two buttons which are configured accordingly let me reload this and if you see here you have a username and the password register and the login and even the ids also got changed it is custom input id and if you go close this we have some other div and inside this div we have something like a shadow root and if you open the shadow root we have one div and inside this particular div you have custom input to the id whatever we are passing dynamically from our HTML custom element. So that is how it will be used for customizing our attributes and by using these customized attributes you can handle any of the complex structures and we can maintain the structure very neat and very flexible as a web component can be used at any pace and at any time. In the upcoming video we will do a small example where we will be creating a card stuff and we will be passing all the different types of properties to it and whenever we enter some values we will get that values into our HTML content. So for that sake please watch this whole series for better understanding on the web components. Hope you like my explanation. If you like my video, like, share, subscribe to my channel for more updates. Signing off. Thank you.